Hey, it's Gail with Yo Southern Living. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a video where I was tagged from uh, Charles at Bushcraft Family. Uh, if you are not friends with Charles at Bushcraft Family, please go by and check out his uh, Bushcraft Family channel. Also, check out his Bush Tech Family channel. I will list those in the description box at the end of the video. So, uh, one thing I need to do on this challenge is to tag three people. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that at the beginning. Uh, I'm going to tag uh, the Vineyard Chicks. I'm going to tag uh, Tony at Our Cabin in the Woods. And I'm going to tag Simply Jan Homestead. Okay, so for this challenge, um, we are to have um, books in our library that will help us if the grid goes down, if the power goes out, if we lose our lights, we, we use our, lose our ability to, to use our phones. So having a library of different books will definitely help you. So I did not go to the store for this challenge. I actually have these books at my house right now. So one of the books I have is... Um, Food remedies. Okay, so uh, there are things in here. Uh, you know, there, foods can cure a multitude of things. Uh, you eat a plain slice of bread, that can help to settle your stomach. Um, there's just a lot of different things. Things to help with uh, heart disease, things to help with diabetes. Uh, it goes through different vegetables and what they're good for. Um, and so it can cure a multitude of illnesses. Uh, it goes through flaxseed, is good for your heart, um, things to relieve diarrhea, uh, the grapefruit and pectin, what it's good for, uh, grape juice is good for your heart, uh, things that are good for hay fever, headaches. You know, uh, if the grid goes down, the stores go down, uh, all the truckers go on strike, and we end up needing don't have, uh, you know, products like Advil and aspirin and Tylenol, uh, we're going to need to learn how to relieve headaches on our own. So, um, uh, it helps with, uh, you know, what honey helps with, immunity, uh, bacteria fighting uh, foods. I know yogurt is one of them. Um, it just goes through different things, IBS, uh, kidney stones. Can you imagine having kidney stones without a hospital? I can't even imagine going through that. I've seen someone go through that. It is an awful, awful deal. Um, you know, things for lactose intolerant. I'm thinking if the grid's down, you, if you're not good with dairy, just, just avoid it. Um, lemons and limes, what they're good for. It goes through all different kinds of foods and all different kinds of illnesses. And it helps you with all of that. It even goes through foods that are good to help with wound healing. Wow, who knew that that, that was a thing? I have cat kittens at my feet trying to take me down while I'm making this video. So, I thought this book was useful. It's probably been out for a while. Uh, it was probably published. I bet it was published quite a few years ago. I came across it at some point. 1998, so it's, it, you know, it's a fairly old book, but these kind of books are very helpful. So, the next thing you're going to need to think about, so you got your home remedies. Uh, next thing you're going to want to think about is books that ha have to do with medical things. Um, and I don't have any books on surgery or first, first aid, but that would definitely be a good book to have. But what I do have is I have an anatomy book. So say, God forbid, you have to do an appendix surgery when the grid is down. You want to know where stuff is. And this is going to help you. Also, you know, if someone's having a pain in a particular place, you can identify it by this and maybe kind of know what to do. So I think an anatomy book is a great prepping library book. Okay. So also... I have a lot of books on gardening. So, 
So, you know, gardening is going to become quite important if the grid goes down, if the if we can't get access to a store, power goes out, our gardening is going to become not just a hobby, but a life-sustaining type thing. So having gardening books, when you need to know how to do it to live, not just for fun, I think it's definitely important to have gardening books. So I, as you can see, I have a pretty good gardening book library because I like gardening. So, um, some other books that I think would be useful to have, um, maybe books on how to work on things like how to work on cars or how to work on different machinery, um, things that you would normally call to get someone to come out and work on those product, those things, you might want to have some books on those things. Um, there's a book I've heard of called The Lost Ways. I can't really afford to buy it, but it sounds like a really good book that would be useful in, in some of these circumstances if your grid goes down. And it could be due to war, a hurricane, tornado, flooding, uh, someone attacked the grid on purpose, uh, anything. There's so many reasons why. So, uh, books on preser uh, cooking or preserving food over a fire, uh, like the old school way, that would be important. Uh, maybe things to do with sewing. If you're, you don't know how to sew, maybe some things uh, to do with sewing, printed out. Uh, how to make your laundry soap. Um, how to mix up laundry soap and stuff like that. I actually have a video where I make my own laundry soap. I know not everybody does that, but, you know, you might have your regular laundry soap in the gallons and then have the products as a backup uh, to be able to make your own laundry soap. Because if the grid goes down, you're going to need your laundry soap to last a lot longer. And mine... I make it, it lasts literally months. I don't have, I make it, I don't have to think about it for the longest time till the bucket gets down. It's literally made in a five gallon bucket. So once I make it, I don't have to worry about it. Also, I have, uh, I have Little House on the Prairie books. They're actually inside of those books. I, I forgot to get them out to show you, but inside of those books, it talks about preserving food. Uh, it talks how to preserve food, how they did it back then. Uh, there's actually recipes in there. Uh, amongst all the different books, there actually is some old school recipes in there. And since I brought up recipes, this is not a book, but this is recipes written down. So, obviously you need to have your bread making supplies, uh, your cornbread making supplies uh, as a prep. So you need to write down your recipes because you're not going to be able to get to your recipes on your phone. Uh, so you need to write down those recipes that you will need in case the grid does go down. You want to be able to get to your recipes. So there's a lot of books um, that would be helpful in a grid down type situation. Um, one of them that I really, really want to get that I haven't gotten yet uh, is I want to get a book on wild edibles in my area, which in my area would be in Central Texas. Uh, but you want to get a book that is geared toward your area. So uh, that is definitely a book that is on my list of books to order. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap place to order books... Um, you can order used books from Thrift Books. Also, your local library, uh, when they get too many books or the books are no longer being checked out, uh, they will eventually um, sell those books back to people. So you might look into that. Uh, also, yard sales are a great place to find used books if you don't want to buy your books new. Uh, you know, if you live in a small town, you can't always get access to uh, bookstores and things like that. So, But these are the books I have on hand. There are quite a few books that I still want to do. 
Uh, thank you, uh, Charles at Bushcraft Family, for um, tagging me in this challenge. Um, it was good to see that I actually have some books already in my library. And it also lets me know what books I need. So I might add some of those to my Christmas list. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put uh, links to Bushcraft Family. I'm going to also put his other channel, Bush Tech. I'm going to put Simply Jan Homestead. Then your chicks and our cabin in the woods. I'm going to put links to all those channels in my description box. You guys have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind. And be sure to find those prepping books that you need before you need them. Bye, guys.